with the new S24 Ultra. Now, this is only going to be an S24 Ultra. Um, this is going to be, well, it says S24 Series. I saw on another report saying it was just S24 Ultra specific, but I bet it comes to all of the S24 devices. You will be able to use your S24 as a webcam. So basically what I'm doing now, how you are viewing me at the moment, is on a S22. Now I have it plugged in through USB and then plugged into the computer. And then I got StreamYard pulling that video, right? But with the new S24, there's gonna, they're going to have a built-in webcam. Um, sort of like what Pixel has done. If you uh, put a video out last week, um, Pixel activated that. Not many people know, but on the new Pixel 8 series, you can um, use your device as a webcam. So as soon as you connect it with your computer, you can go into the settings and uh, um, activate the webcam. Now, this one that Samsung's about to launch looks a little more advanced because they're throwing artificial intelligence in with it. So, as you can see here, it shows black. Uh, it shows a background blur. It shows auto framing. That is, and those are options that you basically have to enable on your whatever device you're streaming from. Uh, uh, not, for, not. Okay, so if I was gonna enable background blur and auto, I'm not it, actually auto framing doesn't even exist on Streamyard. I can do background blur, but I have to activate it through Streamyard. What Samsung is saying, that's going to be built in to the device where you can blur your background, change background, and then also auto framing. So if you take a step back, you move this way, you move that way, the camera will actually follow you to a certain extent, right? It's going to have an a angle to where it can view you from, but it'll track you. So Samsung has announced a new feature that turns its excellent phone cameras into high quality webcam this feature previously previously seen yeah in the beta version of one ui the webcam feature lets you switch between front and rear cameras and apply special effects like auto framing and background blur it's unclear what other devices this feature will come in the future but it's guaranteed to arrive in the s24 so after seeing this I went to, um, I went to, whoops, I went to Samsung's website. Their website, they did put out a press release for this. I'm going to share this press release with you. So what Samsung is calling this is intelligent connectivity. Um, Samsung is also releasing their new Galaxy Book 4 series a smoother smarter more adaptable experience right with samsung and microsoft and the whole webcam uh, um, feature gets gets included in this intelligent connectivity features so what basically samsung and microsoft are doing is making is making everything sync and connect seamlessly um as you know apple has a uh, apple has a stronghold on basically they're the leader in had just ha having everything sync sync up together right it's their ecosystem so if you have an iphone it syncs up perfect with your macbook with your ipad you can share files seamlessly all throughout i mean it just it's perfect right so that was the one one of the major major issues and not necessarily yeah i guess it was an issue especially i i had a big problem with it um not the apple thing but the, the android side right because it's like it's a free-for-all in the android world where if you had a samsung phone and then you had a samsung galaxy book um oh man it's awesome everything syncs up just like it would be for an iphone and a macbook well i actually had a galaxy book um and i did not like it it overheated uh and uh, just 
it was not a good experience, so I got rid of it. But for the few months that I did have it, it was awesome. It looks like the tide is turning with the <clears throat> with the connectivity because Samsung is saying they're working with Microsoft. Now, as you know, Microsoft applications come pre-installed, a few, on Samsung phones. So Samsung and Microsoft are already have a close relationship and they're making it even closer. Now they're going to make certain uh, intelligent, intuitive, AI capable um, connections between Galaxy, Samsung phones, Samsung computers, and Microsoft. Um, Samsung put a press release out. This was this today? Yeah, it was today. They're again, as I mentioned, they're calling it intelligent connectivity. Now it'll include all of the new Galaxy devices, the Galaxy Book 4 series, the Galaxy S24 series, and the Galaxy Tab S9 series. No word on older devices as far as the S23, S22 series, or a Tab S7, but I can promise you they'll open that up to older devices probably in the next month or two. Uh, they're just making it exclusive for the brand new devices, which I, you know, it sucks, but I get it, right? They're just trying to bump the sales. As long as they release it here in a month or two for older devices, I don't really care. But um, so, and right here, you can tell, transform your smartphone into a powerful PC camera. Um, the Galaxy Book 4 series now empowers you to turn on your phone camera into a PC webcam. Now, check this out. It does say Galaxy Book 4, but it will work for all Windows devices. They're just trying to sell their, their Galaxy Book 4. Uh, it will come to all, all Microsoft um, devices. So you should plug your Samsung phone in, and away you go. Um, it'll make it real easy. I can promise you that. Um, and now it says, what else we got here? Easy camera switching lets you stay mobile and flexible without needing to adjust your PC at all. You can also apply a variety of features from your phone to your call, including background blur, auto framing. Cool. Okay. So. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I mentioned some devices down here. Plus, pairing your Galaxy Book 4 with other Galaxy devices beyond smartphones, you can take your PC experience even further. For example, you can turn your Tab S9 as a monitor for your PC so you can maximize productivity. Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So it looks like it'll be exclusive to Galaxy devices maybe for the first month or two. And then, as I mentioned, after... 30 to 60 days, they are going to open it up to all Microsoft uh, PCs and laptops.